Welcome to another great episode of American Rifleman Television. Now, one of the youngest Italian gun companies is really one of the biggest. It's Benelli. Now, this week in our feature story, we head to Urbino, Italy, to show you how they actually make the guns. For this week's Rifleman Review, Brian Sheets tests the new Springfield St. Victor in 308 Winchester. One of the most effective firearms used at the very end of the Great War was the U.S. model of 1918 Browning Automatic Rifle. And it's our eye of this old gun this week. But for right now, let's head to Benelli and Urbino. As far as Italian gun companies go, Benelli is pretty young. Uh, the company was founded in 1967. Now, the Benelli family had had a motorcycle company since 1911, but 1967, Paolo Benelli decided that he wanted to make shotguns. They, this was a family that loved to shoot, that loved to hunt, very much uh, a passion in that part of Italy. And they started with a unique shotgun with an action designed by Bruno Civilani. Today, we know the system as inertia-driven. The Benelli philosophy is innovation. This is the mood that you can feel in, the, in this factory. Because uh, Benelli, born in 1967, with a very innovative system, the Benelli inertia system. Before this system, the inertia, all shotgun wars with the, the gas operator, for example. So Benelli have in the DNA innovation. It wasn't until recent years that Springfield finally got into the AR game. But I think Springfield really did everybody a favor by coming out with guns that really showed that they had a finger on the pulse of U.S. shooters who wanted ARs that were value-driven, feature-laden, and high quality. When the United States entered World War I, the Army hadn't settled on an effective light machine gun. The game changer came when John Moses Browning presented the Army with what we know as the 1918 Browning Automatic Rifle. 